1943, Switzerland, Dr. Heinrich Kaufmann, a Swiss archaeologist, had always been fascinated by the mysteries of the East. His interest was particularly piqued by the legends of Shangri-La, a mythical utopia hidden somewhere within the Himalayas. The tale spoke of a place of peace and prosperity, far advanced from the rest of the world. While many dismissed these stories as mere folklore, Dr. Kaufmann believed there was a kernel of truth to them. In the early 1940s, amidst the turmoil of World War II, Dr. Kaufmann sought refuge in his research. He was granted a research grant by the Swiss government, which was maintaining its neutrality during the war. His proposal was to investigate the origins of the Shangri-La myth and to explore the remote regions of the Himalayas in search of any evidence supporting the existence of such a place. In 1943, Dr. Kaufmann embarked on his expedition to Bhutan, a small kingdom nestled within the Himalayas. His destination was the remote and largely unexplored region of Lunana, located in the northern part of the country. The area was known for its rugged terrain and harsh weather conditions, making it a challenging location for any expedition. After months of strenuous travel, Dr. Kaufmann and his team reached the Lunana region. They began their exploration, battling the harsh weather and treacherous mountain paths. It was during one of these explorations that Dr. Kaufmann noticed an unusual formation in the mountainside. Upon closer inspection, he discovered what appeared to be man-made structures, partially buried under centuries of rock and ice. Excited by the discovery, Dr. Kaufmann and his team began to excavate the site. What they found was beyond anything they could have imagined. The ruins of an ancient civilization, far more advanced than any known to exist, lay hidden beneath the mountains of Bhutan. The world was about to change forever. 1945, post-war, the world was just beginning to recover from the horrors of World War II. In Switzerland, Dr. Heinrich Kaufmann had returned from his expedition to Bhutan, carrying with him the secrets of an ancient civilization. He had spent the last two years meticulously studying the artifacts he had discovered, ensuring that his findings were sound before revealing them to the world. In late 1945, Dr. Kaufmann held a press conference at the University of Zurich, where he unveiled his discoveries. The artifacts he presented were unlike anything seen before, hinting at a civilization far more advanced than the current world. 1. The energy sphere, this was a small, palm-sized artifact made of an unknown metallic substance. It had a curious property of emitting a soft, warm glow that never seemed to diminish. It was also found to produce a small, but measurable, amount of energy continuously. The sphere was perfectly smooth and had no visible power source, baffling scientists. 2. The star map, this was a large, intricately carved stone tablet. It depicted constellations and celestial bodies, some of which were unknown to modern astronomers. The accuracy of the map suggested a deep understanding of astronomy and possibly space travel. 3. The timepiece, this was a device resembling a clock, but instead of hours and minutes, it seemed to measure time in a completely different way. It had multiple dials, each moving at a different speed, and was synchronized to an unknown time system. 4. The harmonic crystal, a crystalline structure that emitted a harmonic resonance when exposed to certain frequencies. The resonance had a calming effect on living organisms and seemed to enhance cognitive functions in humans. These artifacts were just the tip of the iceberg, but they were enough to capture the world's attention. The energy sphere suggested a power source far more efficient and sustainable than anything known at the time. The star map hinted at a civilization that had mastered the secrets of the cosmos. The timepiece suggested a different understanding of time, and the harmonic crystal hinted at advancements in cognitive science. The world was intrigued, and the site in Bhutan became a focal point of global interest. The age of the Shangri-La civilization had begun. 1946 to 1950, the revelation of the Shangri-La civilization and its artifacts sparked a global frenzy. The world powers, recognizing the potential of the advanced technology, began investing heavily in the excavation and research of the site. 1946, the United States and the Soviet Union, emerging as superpowers post-World War II, were among the first to express interest. They sent their own teams of archaeologists and scientists to Bhutan, eager to gain any advantage in the burgeoning Cold War. The Swiss government, keen to maintain control over the discovery, negotiated a multinational agreement allowing international research while ensuring Swiss oversight. 1947, the excavation of the site began in earnest. More artifacts were unearthed, each more baffling than the last. One such artifact was the quantum conduit, a device that seemed to generate and store energy at an atomic level. 
It was far beyond the understanding of 1940s science, but it was clear that it harnessed energy in a way that was far more efficient than any known method. 1948, the understanding of the previously discovered artifacts increased. The energy sphere was found to be a portable version of the quantum conduit, capable of powering small devices. The star map was discovered to be not just a map, but also a navigational tool, with the ability to calculate travel routes across the cosmos. The timepiece was found to measure time based on quantum states, a concept that was just beginning to be understood by modern science. 1949, new artifacts were discovered, including the translocation pad, a platform that seemed to be designed for teleportation. While the technology was far beyond the understanding of the time, the potential implications were staggering. 1950, the geopolitical landscape was changing. The world powers were no longer just competing for military dominance, but also for technological supremacy. The USA and USSR, in particular, were locked in a knowledge race, each trying to unlock the secrets of the Shangri-La civilization before the other. This competition led to a period of intense scientific advancement and cooperation among nations, setting the stage for the decades to come. The world was on the brink of a new era, fueled by the discoveries of an ancient civilization far more advanced than their own. The Shangri-La civilization had not only changed the course of history but was also shaping the future. 1951, the Cold War, instead of escalating into an arms race, took a different turn. The USA and USSR, the two superpowers, found themselves engaged in a knowledge race, each striving to unlock the secrets of the Shangri-La civilization. USA, in the United States, a young physicist named Dr. Elizabeth Harper made a breakthrough in understanding the quantum conduit. She discovered that the device harnessed energy through quantum entanglement, a concept that was still in its infancy in the scientific community. Her work led to the development of the first quantum power generator in 1953, revolutionizing the energy sector. USSR, meanwhile, in the Soviet Union, a brilliant engineer named Dr. Ivan Petrov made significant strides in deciphering the translocation pad. While full teleportation was still beyond their grasp, Petrov's research led to advancements in transportation technology, including the development of high-speed magnetic levitation trains by 1955. United Kingdom, in the United Kingdom, Dr. Alice Cunningham, an astronomer, made significant progress with the star map. She identified several unknown celestial bodies and even proposed the existence of exoplanets, decades before they were officially discovered. Her work led to a renewed interest in space exploration. France In France, Dr. Pierre Lefebvre, a cognitive scientist, was fascinated by the harmonic crystal. His research revealed that the crystal emitted frequencies that stimulated neural activity, enhancing cognitive functions. This discovery led to advancements in neuroscience and education, with new teaching methods developed to harness this effect. Japan In Japan, Dr. Hiroshi Tanaka, a horologist, was intrigued by the timepiece. His research led to a new understanding of time based on quantum states, revolutionizing the field of quantum mechanics. These scientific advancements, fueled by the discoveries of the Shangri-La civilization, led to a period of rapid technological progress. The world powers, recognizing the benefits of cooperation over conflict, began to share their research, leading to a global scientific renaissance. The Cold War, instead of escalating into a potential catastrophe, became a catalyst for global unity and progress. 1955, among the artifacts discovered in the Bhutan ruins were tablets inscribed with the civilization scripture. The script was unlike any known language, composed of complex geometric patterns that seemed to change when viewed from different angles. The task of deciphering this script was monumental, but the potential knowledge to be gained was invaluable. A multinational team of linguists, mathematicians, and cryptographers was assembled to decipher the script. The team was led by Dr. Sofia Mendoza, a renowned linguist from Mexico, and Dr. Rajiv Nair, a brilliant mathematician from India. The team made a breakthrough when they discovered that the script was not just a language, but also a form of mathematical notation. The geometric patterns represented both phonetic sounds and mathematical equations, making the script a complex language of science. By 1955, the team had managed to decipher the basic structure of the language. The first pieces of scripture they translated revealed the civilization's advanced understanding of energy, space, and time. The translated text spoke of harnessing the power of the universe, of bending space to traverse the cosmos, and of manipulating time. They described the quantum conduit and the energy sphere, confirming Dr. Harper's theories about quantum entanglement. 
They spoke of the star map and the translocation pad, hinting at a civilization that had mastered space travel. They also mentioned the timepiece, suggesting a different understanding of time based on quantum states. The civilization was named the Shangri-La Civilization, after the mythical utopia. The name was fitting, as the civilization seemed to have achieved a level of advancement and harmony that was utopian in nature. The deciphered scriptures were just the beginning. There was still much to learn from the Shangri-La civilization, but the knowledge gained so far had already begun to reshape the world. 1960, the space race, now influenced by the Shangri-La civilization's findings, was advancing at an unprecedented pace. The star map and the translocation pad provided invaluable insights into space travel, propelling the development of new technologies. In the United States, NASA worked closely with Dr. Elizabeth Harper and Dr. Ivan Petrov. Their research on the quantum conduit and the translocation pad led to the development of a revolutionary propulsion system. This quantum drive, as it was named, generated thrust through principles of quantum entanglement and space manipulation, eliminating the need for traditional fuel. In recognition of her groundbreaking work, Dr. Harper was invited to join the astronaut training program. She accepted, becoming one of the first scientists turned astronauts. The first manned mission to the moon was launched in 1960. The mission, named Odyssey Pioneers, symbolized the pioneering spirit of this new era of space exploration. The crew of Odyssey Pioneers consisted of three astronauts, Commander James, Jim Anderson, Lunar Module Pilot Robert, Rob Bennett, and Quantum Specialist Dr. Elizabeth Harper. Their mission was not just to land on the moon, but also to test the quantum drive in the harsh conditions of space. On July 20, 1960, the Odyssey Pioneers successfully landed on the moon. Commander Anderson was the first to step onto the lunar surface, followed by Dr. Harper. Their historic words, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, powered by the wisdom of the ancients, marked the beginning of a new era in space exploration. 1965 to 1980, the world entered a period of rapid technological advancement, largely driven by the discoveries from the Shangri-La civilization. The quantum conduit and the energy sphere, in particular, led to the development of new energy sources that were both efficient and sustainable. 1965, the quantum drive, developed by Dr. Elizabeth Harper and Dr. Ivan Petrov, was adapted for use on Earth. This led to the creation of quantum power plants, which generated clean, sustainable energy through quantum entanglement. These power plants began to replace traditional fossil fuel power plants, leading to a significant decline in greenhouse gas emissions. 1970, the continued deciphering of the Shangri-La scriptures led to a breakthrough in understanding a previously overlooked artifact, the resonance amplifier. Initially thought to be a simple musical instrument, the resonance amplifier was found to be a device that could amplify and manipulate the harmonic frequencies emitted by the harmonic crystal. 1975, Dr. Pierre Lefebvre, the French cognitive scientist who had been studying the harmonic crystal, used the resonance amplifier to develop new cognitive enhancement techniques. These techniques were used to improve education, leading to a global increase in intellectual capacity and creativity. 1980, the geopolitical landscape was changing. Nations were focusing more on scientific advancement and less on military power. The USA and USSR, instead of competing for military dominance, were now leading the world in scientific research and technological development. The Cold War had become a catalyst for global unity and progress, rather than a source of conflict. The world was on the brink of a new era, an era of peace and prosperity fueled by the wisdom of the ancients. The discoveries of the Shangri-La civilization were not just reshaping the world, they were also shaping the future. 1985, after decades of meticulous work, the Shangri-La scripture was finally fully deciphered. The multinational team of linguists, mathematicians and cryptographers, led by Dr. Sofia Mendoza and Dr. Rajiv Nair, had managed to unlock the secrets of the complex geometric language. The fully deciphered scripture revealed a wealth of knowledge about the Shangri-La civilization. It spoke of their advanced understanding of energy, space, and time, confirming the theories that had been developed based on the artifacts. It described their society, which was based on principles of harmony, knowledge, and exploration. One of the most significant revelations was the existence of a gateway that the Shangri-La civilization used to travel across the cosmos. The scripture described the gateway as a bridge between stars, suggesting that it was a form of teleportation technology. The gateway was said to be powered by a heart of stars, which was believed to be a reference to the quantum conduit. 
However, the scripture was cryptic about the location of the gateway. It was said to be where the sky dances with the earth, a phrase that was open to interpretation. This sparked a global effort to decipher this clue and find the gateway. The world powers, recognizing the potential benefits of such technology, united in this endeavor. Scientists, engineers, and explorers from around the world came together, pooling their resources and knowledge to unlock the final secret of the Shangri-La civilization. The world was on the brink of a new frontier, ready to step into the cosmos and meet the civilization that had changed their world. The age of the Shangri-La civilization was not over, it was just beginning. 1990 to 2020, the search for the gateway sparked a global exploration effort that led to the discovery of numerous other Shangri-La sites around the world. Each site was a treasure trove of new technology and knowledge, propelling humanity into a new era of peace and advancement. 1990, the first new site was discovered in the depths of the Amazon rainforest. The site, hidden beneath centuries of growth, contained artifacts related to bioengineering and agriculture. This led to advancements in crop production and genetic engineering, helping to solve global food security issues. 1995, a site was discovered in the Sahara Desert, revealing technologies related to water purification and climate control. These discoveries led to significant advancements in combating water scarcity and managing climate change. 2000 in the Australian outback, a site was discovered that contained artifacts related to communication and information technology. The technology was far beyond current understanding, but initial research led to advancements in data transmission and storage, revolutionizing the digital age. 2010, the largest site was discovered beneath the ocean floor in the Mariana Trench. This site contained a vast array of technologies, many of which were still beyond current understanding. However, the initial findings led to advancements in deep-sea exploration and marine biology. 2020, the political landscape had changed significantly. Nations were no longer defined by their military power, but by their scientific and technological advancement. The world powers were those that led in the exploration and research of the Shangri-La sites. The USA, Russia, China, and the European Union were at the forefront, but smaller nations also made significant contributions. The world was united in a common goal, to unlock the secrets of the Shangri-La civilization and use that knowledge for the betterment of humanity. The age of conflict and division was giving way to an era of peace and unity, fueled by the wisdom of the ancients. 2023, after more than three decades of relentless search, the gateway was finally found. It was located in the original Bhutan site, hidden in plain sight. The gateway was not a physical structure, as initially assumed, but a spatial anomaly located at the highest point of the site. This anomaly was only detectable when certain conditions, described cryptically in the scriptures as when the sky dances with the earth, were met. It took years of research and the collective effort of the world's best minds to decipher this clue and detect the anomaly. The discovery of the gateway marked the beginning of a new chapter in human history. The world united in preparation for the monumental task of activating the gateway. Scientists, engineers, and linguists from around the world worked together, pooling their knowledge and resources. The quantum conduit and the energy sphere, the heart of the Shangri-La civilization's technology, were key to powering the gateway. After months of preparation, the moment of truth arrived. The gateway was activated, creating a bridge across the cosmos. A message was sent through the gateway, a message of peace and curiosity, reaching out to the Shangri-La civilization. As the message traveled across the cosmos, humanity waited with bated breath. They were on the brink of making contact with a civilization that had changed their world, a civilization that had shaped their future. The potential was limitless. The knowledge and technology of the Shangri-La civilization could propel humanity into a new era of peace, prosperity, and exploration. The world was watching, waiting for a response. The age of the Shangri-La civilization was not over, it was just beginning. Humanity was ready to step into the cosmos, ready to meet the civilization that had guided them towards a brighter future. The future was filled with anticipation and excitement as humanity stood on the brink of a new frontier.